Hello everyone, welcome to the module 3, Artificial Neural Network. In this module, we will discuss on introduction, neural network representation, appropriate problems for neural network learning, perceptrons, multi-layer network and backpropagation algorithm. And the last topic is remarks on the backpropagation algorithm. Artificial Neural Network or ANN is an information processing model that is inspired by the way the biological neural system such as brain processing information and which is composed of large number of highly interconnected processing elements called as neurons which is working in unison to solve a specific problem. It is like an artificial human nervous system for receiving, processing and transmitting the information in terms of computer science. This artificial neural networks which provides a general practical methods for learning real valued, discrete valued and vector valued target function from examples. So let's discuss about the motivation behind the neural network. See you might have a, a question which may be wondering that what may motivates uh, towards the neural network. See the main motivation behind the, the neural network is our human brain. Human brain is called as the best process which is even though works slower than other computers. But many researchers thought to make a machine that would work in a perspective of the human brain. The study of artificial neural network which has been inspired by the biological learning system which are built of very complex web of interconnected or as neurons. This human information processing system consists of a brain neurons which are basic building blocks cell that can communicate information to and from various parts of our body. There is a simplest model of a neuron that can be considered as a threshold unit and it is a processing element. This collects an input and produces output if some of the inputs exceeds an internal threshold value. Let's see some of the facts of our human neurobiology. See in our human brain there are number of neurons which is uh, approximately 10 to the power 11 and for each neuron there is a connection of 10 to the power of 4 to 5 and the neuron switching time is approximately 0.001 second and the sensing recognition time is approximately 0.1 second and there are 100 in inference steps that doesn't seem like enough and which is highly parallel computation based on distributed representation. We have some of the properties of uh, neural networks. These many neurons are like uh, threshold switching units and many of the neurons are weighted interconnection among the units and which are highly parallel and distributed process and which are emphasis on tuning weights automatically and the input is a high dimensional discrete or real valued data. And sometimes we the best example is our sensor input data. When you want to consider the neural networks, there are, uh, there are some of the reasons why we want to consider the neural networks. One is when you have an input which is high dimensional, discrete or real valued data. Example is your sensor input. And when you want to have an output which is discrete or real valued output, and sometimes when you want an output which is of a vector of values, when you have an input of data which is a noisy data and uh, sometimes the target function is not, is not known and uh, human readability of result is unimportant. So these are the, some of the reasons why we need to consider the neural networks. 
we have some of the examples of our neural networks uh, one is the speech uh, recognition image classification and uh, financial predictions and there are some more example let's see that so let's see the working of a biological neuron this biological neuron or simply we can call it as a neurons these are the fundamental units of the brain and the nervous system and these cells are responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world via dendrites which will be processed and gives the output through axons you can see there are uh, some of the major parts of your neurons the first one is uh, a cell body it can also be called as soma the body of the neuron cell that contains the nucleus and carries out the biochemical transformation which is necessary to the life of the neurons and second important is your dendrites what is a dendrite is each neuron has a fine hair like tubular structure that is has been extended which is around it they branches out into a tree like structure around the cell and they accept the incoming cell signals and uh, third important part is uh, axon which is a long thin tubular like structure that works like your transmission line and the fourth important is synapses so these neurons are connected to other neurons in a complex arrangement when axon reaches its final destination it uh, it branches again which are called as axon terminals see at the end of the axon so these are highly complex and uh, specialized structure which is called as synapses the connection between the two neuron take place at this synapses see we can uh, see the artificial a neuron like structure in the below diagram in the above you can see the natural neurons and uh, in the below diagram you can see the artificial neurons how the inputs are and how it is processed in the form of a nucleus and you can see the output let's uh, discuss the representation of uh, artificial neural networks in the next session so this completes your session 1 let's see in the session 2